Shalom. I want to begin this lesson giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechah Kodash. The true name for the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who this word ignorantly calls God, and the true name for his only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah, who this word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem is in the name, and Rechah Kodash is through the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Uh, back here again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, you know. And uh, hey, through the Holy Spirit, you know, move me, all right, to, you know, make a lesson upon, you know, this wisdom knowledge and understanding of the heavenly father again his true name is yahweh and his true name for his only begotten son is yahweh shah and contrary to popular belief again this wisdom knowledge and understanding is a mystery okay for you know you have these uh christian uh, pastors or you have christianity will make you to believe that you know, just by opening the Bible, you can grant access to the knowledge, you know, uh, that is found therein. Hey, but that would be a lie. OK, because, again, you know, this wisdom, knowledge and understanding has been predestinated for a few to understand, you know. And it's, again, the contrary to popular belief. This wisdom, knowledge and understanding would only be granted access to the elect okay the elect are those that are going to have salvation okay from the destruction of babylon the great okay which you know it's uh it's called america all right but in the scriptures it will be found as babylon the great all right and i just have a few precepts that further prove that that this knowledge is a mystery man okay again this wisdom knowledge understanding is a mystery and our lord yahweh shah had to die on that cross you know scriptures speak about in the book of isaiah it says how and he was marred more than any man you know and he was marred more than any man a not only for the nation of israel beginning for the elect but also us assessing this truth accessing this truth all right in these latter times you know and also the name yahweh is a mystery the name yahweh shah is also a mystery man and you have certain individuals that will make you to believe that hey, the heavenly father has many names all right uh uh uh, the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son has many names, but hey, that's far from the truth. Okay, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmal Shah, hey, we know those names to be true. Okay, so you know, I ain't gonna try to make this lesson too long. I ain't gonna, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I ain't, I'm not gonna try to make this lesson too long. I'm not gonna try to ramble. You know, again, I have a few precepts further backing up the point. And uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, all right? And the first scripture I want to begin with is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. And it reads, Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Okay? So... You know, you have secrets that are in these scriptures, man. You know, and hey, what is a secret? The Heavenly Father's name is a secret, man. You know, what's also a secret? All right. The name for his only begotten son is also a secret, man. You know, even most of the breakdowns in these scriptures, hey, those are secrets, man. And the reason those are secrets because... Hey, everybody doesn't truly understand them. Everybody doesn't truly get it. Hey, so therefore, hey, that's a secret. You know, even when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, 
Yahweh Shah also, I mean, Yahweh Shah often spoke in parables. And what's the reason that Yahweh Shah often spoke in parables was because hey, it wasn't given unto everybody. Okay, it wasn't given unto everybody to, 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 to get it, all right, to understand it. It was only given for a few, okay? And, you know, the elder apostle, the elder apostle Gabar, you know, he, he was making a lesson, you know, the, uh, the, the selected few, the privileged few. Hey, and that's the elect, man, okay? That's the elect. All right, those that are going to understand, man, in these latter times. Those are those that are going to hearken in these latter times, man. Again, hey, it wasn't given unto everybody to receive this knowledge. And that's why, hey, this is truly a blessing, you know, for us to wake up in these latter times. You know, us from, you know, for, for the Lord to awaken us out of that darkness. Because that's what Isaiah the 60th chapter says. Isaiah 60. And let's just go ahead and grab it. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 1. And it reads, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. And hey, when it says, for thy light is come, you know, that means what? You know, the light is also another uh representation and as a and as well is symbolic unto this truth you know why is that light verse two for behold the darkness shall cover the earth okay for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and what darkness is that all right that darkness that you're seeing right now you know that's why when you go into the book of hosea let's grab that hosea chapter four Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 and it says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge and another misconception in the scriptures is that God loves everybody you know and that's again far from the truth the heavenly father only loves the nation of Israel man okay and how do we know that we know that let's go you know Deuteronomy the seventh chapter after this verse man the heavenly father again only loves the nation of israel that's why he sent his son yahweh shah to die for the nation of israel beginning with the elect but let's continue it says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because that has rejected not because that has rejected knowledge i will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power i will also forget thy children you see so hey that backs up that gross darkness man or that darkness so again isaiah chapter 60 verse 2 and it says for behold the darkness shall cover the earth gross darkness the people you know and that's what you see right now man gross dark <laughs> gross darkness the people that's why you have jake in a such bug out state because again <laughs> they have that gross darkness consuming them man you know jake don't even know they left from their right all right come up with terms like god loves everybody you know comes up come up with terms like um uh the lord uh lord loves everybody you know come up with terms like uh uh jesus christ that's the right names and then now you got individuals you know bert uh bert and ernie coming with these new names man you know so that's that gross darkness, man. And and who is this straight consuming? It's consuming uh, Yasharala, the two thirds of them. Okay. But um, don't want to go off. Don't want to go off topic. But let's go to the book Colossians, Colossians chapter one verse twenty six again, showing you hey, that this is a mystery. All right, Colossians chapter one verse twenty six. It says, even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, right? The mystery. And what's the mystery? Again, the true, the true knowledge of these scriptures. It's been a mystery, man. Throughout all this time, you had our people, you know, in captivity. You had our people 
following after these different gods, these different religions. Okay, but now again, the Lord, you know, and it, it you know, starting with Abba Bivens and then our apostles and elders in this time, as well as brothers down, are fully, you know, coming into the truth. All right, so it says again, even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations. But now is made manifest to his saints. And who are the saints? The saints are the Israelites. But again, it's beginning with the elect. Okay. Also, Romans the 11th chapter, man. You know, Romans the 11th chapter also tells you, man, how, you know, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and grab it. Romans chapter 11. And it says, verse 7. What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for? But the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And the election is just, uh, the election is, you know, long for elect, you know. And again, the elect are going to obtain it. Obtain what? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, as well as salvation, deliverance from the destruction of this place. And it says, verse 8, according as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, until this day. You see, so as it is written, and this is going back into the Book of Isaiah, Isaiah, Jeremiah, uh, Ezekiel. Okay, <laughs> you know, and again, that's that gross darkness, man. That gross darkness upon our people that they don't truly understand. All right. So let's also go to the book of uh, Second Ezra. It's a lock it for the background. No, it's Second Ezra chapter eight and verse sixty-one, and it says, "And therefore is now my judgment now at hand." And and we're seeing that right now, you know, the Lord's judgment being at hand. You're seeing what's going on in the land of Israel, you know, with the uh, Amalekites as well as those Palestinians. Okay. Warring after a land that's not theirs and the Lord is judging both of them, you know, but verse 62, it says These things I have not shewed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee Then answered I and said, you see, so these things, what are these things? Prophecies, okay, even on a, on a lower level Access to this knowledge, all right, the Lord hasn't granted access for everybody to understand he has only granted access for his elect like it says unto thee and uh, unto thee and a few like thee and that's the elect man all right so you know really just letting the spirit flow and i'm not i i didn't intend for this lesson to be long but there's a lot of misconceptions in the scriptures and there's a lot of mysteries man it's a lot of mysteries there's a lot of secrets okay that's why the scriptures say, blessed for your eyes for they see and their ears for they hear. Okay? It was given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it was not given. And that's why, again, it is truth is a blessing. All right? The Lord allowing us to actually understand this is a blessing because it wasn't given unto everybody, man. All right? So what, hey, with, the, what with the Lord, with the talent that the Lord actually gives you, Okay, you know, that's why hey, we have to multiply our works to do this work because, hey, Yahweh Shah had to, had to go on that cross in order for us to receive this knowledge, man. Okay, so again, didn't want to make this lesson too long. You know, you know, Lord willing, it was edifying to the next time, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, and Kapodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Everywhere, peace and blessing unto the elect. Till next time, Shalom and a Bible bar.